Hello and welcome to episode 30 of Nuggets Dungeon Terrain, as well as the sixth and final part of the Chaos themed dungeon. In this episode I'm firstly going to show you the last piece, which is my revamped version of episode 2, The Chasm of Teeth. I made a little bit more so that it could fit in a more modular fashion with the rest of the dungeon. Here's a look at some of the steps in the process. Once again, after cutting out the overall basic outline, I've cut a 2cm base off the bottom. And then I've cut some other 1cm layers of the same form, so that I can take parts of those out to make the stairs and other elements. Because on the lower section between the spikes, I'm going to have some small areas that the players can still step, I'm cutting out this extra thin piece of one inch tiles as well. While the video here is showing that I'm sharpening up and cutting up some skewers to use as a variety of heights of spikes, you can also see in the background the different layers of stairs and other stonework that will go between the spikes, as well as the washer and the cog in the middle that will hold the trap. You can see I'm just pushing the spikes straight in, I'm not gluing them, because the next step will be to use this medium gel to cover the spike area and that will also harden and act as an adhesive. I use this particular range for most of my texture work. It's very cheap and seems really reliable. Here's the base pretty much done before I start painting it over. The coarse medium is still not dry, you can see it has that dark colour it'll brighten up a lot more before I can paint. The washer and the gear are the perfect size for the dowel that I'm using and I've just forced a hole through the center of them. I'm just adding a smooth gel here to the tips of some of the spikes which later I'll paint with red gore just to make the spikes look a little bit more threatening. So here I'm experimenting with a small bit of lichen where I've taken most of the loose bits off and I just have what I guess you could call the stem remaining. I just wanted to experiment with this for when I do a ruin themed dungeon later on.
So here's an example of that entire six part chaos themed dungeon all being put together. So just as a bit of a bonus, here's a close up of some of the stackers that I built to connect some of the rooms together. This is a 2 to a 3 space converter and it also increases in height gradient by 1 centimeter to act as stairs. And this is a 2 to a 3 space converter that's all on one level. And now the bonus bonus section. Here you can see the three containers that all of those pieces are stored in. The two red containers are coded for the Chaos Dungeon and the green container holds all of the doors and spaces. Having some of the tile sections with even spaced 4cm high walls also helps to do multi-level stacking within the box and protect the pieces at the same time. So thanks for watching and please like and subscribe if you haven't done so already.